Hello Pisces, are you ready to rock? Welcome to you December of 2019. Uh, Terrascope with uh, Animal Totem card and it's things are going to be rocking for sure this month. There's so much going on with the astrology. There's going to be, uh, well Jupiter's going into Capricorn right in the beginning of the month and then we're going to have the solstice energy which is the change of seasons, it's a change of entire vibration and there's going to be an eclipse at the end of the year, and well, the end of the year and the end of the month as well. I am Vicki Burley, the Rock and Roll Prophetess. This is for Pisces Sun, Rising, and Moon. As always, we're going to, I do tarot, psychic tarot, and I do also do astrology. We're going to get into some, uh, we probably won't do much astrology today, but it's, uh, that's available also if you're interested. We're going to do the Rock and Roll Tarot deck for starters, which is my own design. Then we are going to pull a card from the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle card, also my own design. And if you're a level 2 Patreon person, then there's going to be an additional card pulled from the uh, Earth Magic Oracle cards by Stephen Farmer. So stay tuned. I have much to talk about. Yeah, so <clears throat> there is just so much uh, stuff going on here with, this, uh, with these changes. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the thing is... Um, it's just going to be a big change for just about everybody. Uh, you're not going to, I mean, everybody's going to be affected. You may not be affected as much because it's not exactly hitting on any of your stuff. Um, but it is, um, you know, it is going to be hitting on um, sextiling. And sextiling is harmonious, but sextiling, no matter what, it's, it's going to be, uh, you know, eclipses bring about changes. The solstice uh, ingresses bring about changes. Uh, so, it's a time of great change. Uh, Jupiter moving into Sagittarius, it, I mean from Sagittarius where it was squaring your sign, which brings about friction, and then moving into the sign of uh, Capricorn, which is a more harmonious thing. So many of the changes that are going on are going to be more harmonious with you and more um, aligned with your flow, you know. Let's see, one, and then one last card for... Pisces. I almost said Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, uh, you know, I've said that a couple times twice already here by mistake. Sometimes when I say things by mistake, it's, you know, it's not a mistake. Now, this is a general reading, and I don't assign gender to the court card. So we've got a king here. It does not mean that this king is a male energy. It could be anybody. But it's probably a fire sign, a Leo, Aries, or Sag, and it's probably during the time while we're still in Sagittarius. The other thing is, I, I tell everybody this when you order a private reading from me, but this is applies to these general readings, too. Like, you might let those words talk to you. If you see something kind of standing out to you, a word like here, journey, is really standing out to me, allow that to happen. And if you watch this video more than once, the next time you watch it, maybe a different word will stand out to you. And that's how you can really get a personal message out of these readings, and that's how your spirit guides can communicate with you. And the different times you watch it, you're coming from a different <laughs> energy and vibration, and therefore you'll be drawn to a different, um, <coughs> excuse me, a different word or shape um, in the cards. <coughs> excuse me, I think I need to get a cough drop. <clears throat> well, we have, we have a very nice reading here. You've got Seven of Cups as the first card out. This is talking about visualizing your dreams and making them a reality. Um... So do your visualizations. Keep working on that. You know, we've got this uh, Sagittarius or fire energy. Now, the fire signs are Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. <clears throat> now, the king, although not necessarily a male, is, an, is a more evolved person. The king is more evolved. They, more, or they know who they are. They are more assured of themselves. And they look at the seven of cups, too. So it could be like they share your dream or they can help realize your dream becoming a reality, or they can see the potential of your dream. You know, you Pisces, that's your thing. I mean, you're the dreamers. You're the dreamers of the Zodiac, no doubt about it. And um, sometimes you need somebody with fire or earth energy to really bring it into reality or make it happen, because fire energy is about action. So I feel like this is like not dreaming as much, but bringing it into reality. The hangman is here, so this, I feel it's still talking about this dream. I feel like this is something that you've been thinking about for a long time, because if you notice, the hangman is not in a, 
you know, he's not being strangled or anything. He's a being, he's paused, he's being enlightened. He's getting downloads, you know, that's what it is. And the dude um, that it was based on, this is the Tree of Knowledge. I'm not sure if it's Odin, it's somebody in Norse mythology. And uh, they were getting the download of the alphabet, the runes, the rune stones, the alphabet. So they're getting the words, you know, they're getting the words. They're taking this visualization and making it into words with the help of this fire sign energy, this fire sign person. Now, we're going to be in Sagittarius um, up until the solstice, which is the 21st. So this could be occurring like in the first few weeks, and it looks like it is in any way. You know, there's a, there could be negotiations, but definitely there's spirit help too. You know, this card is always a card of help from spirit, help from above, help from angelic forces, putting, the, putting things together. It's also putting things together on the earth plane when it shows up next to a card like the Ace of Pentacles. So there could be some negotiations going on, some, something having to do with money and maybe business or a powerful person. This person and this powerful person it represented in the Emperor could be the same, one and the same here. Um, it's time to leave. There's a big transition happening, and that's true with the astrology. I mean, I said that right off the bat. That's what's going on with the astrology. But you're going to have to leave something behind in order to come to this new uh, vibration. Now, that moon thing is on there, so I want to mention these moons. We've got that full moon in Gemini. And that's going to be on, or excuse me, a new moon. No, it is a full moon. My bad, full moon. I have to check. You're my. I'm doing you first today, so you're the full moon, and that's on the twelfth. So there's a full moon on the twelfth, and then there's a new moon eclipse on December twenty-sixth on my birthday. Yikes. Um, so I'm like, I don't know what to think about. It. I never. It's either on the twenty-fifth or twenty-sixth, depending on where you are. Yeah, I never. I was always like, yeah, whatever, don't be a... People are like, oh, it's Saturn, oh, it's an eclipse, Ugh. But boy, that last eclipse in Capricorn last year really changed a lot. So, but this changes for everybody. And in your case, it seems really positive. So I always look at, well, what's he moving... He's moving away from something here. He's leaving this behind. What's he moving toward? He's moving towards the Two of Cups. That is a soulmate card. So for many of you... If you've been wishing for a relationship, this could totally be happening, too. It's all about shifting. And that partnership looked like parachute to me. And again, let that happen if you see a word changing into something else. So I don't know if parachuting has anything to do with anything. Um, and it's followed by the Empress. Some of you could fall in love and somebody could become pregnant and have a baby. But the Empress is also just this overflowing with abundance. It's just overflowing. My dream, I've got the money happening, I've got the love happening, and I've got my health. Empress is a card of health. So it looks like it's a beautiful journey for you. That's what shows up to me. And it looks just super favorable. This is going to be a lot easier than it has been with all these uh, other um, mutable energy squaring on you. These nice sextiles are still going to be changed, but you know, you're Pisces, you can flow. You're a fish, you can flow down that stream and allow things to happen. Uh, before I get into the animal totem, I just want to remind everybody again, for a limited time, we're going to have these year ahead readings. And it's just kind of the same setup as this, for, for the most part. Um, I lay it out like this with four quarters. Instead of three, there's four quarters. And then I do an animal totem, and I look at your astrology, too. There's a lot of astrology coming up in the next year. Saturn, Pluto, and stuff. It's always my most popular reading, and it's available for a limited time, so don't forget to check it out if you're interested. Also, I want to thank everybody who has supported me through this year and the years prior, and, um, you know, it's just been a great ride here. I've been on YouTube now for going on, I don't know how many years, a lot, lot of years now, <laughs> and it's been a great ride, and I wanted to Put out, put it out there, not just for me, but all your favorite YouTubers, if you if you so feel like it. Just as you might tip your postman or something, if you wanted to make a small donation in appreciation, I'm sure myself and all the other readers would be highly appreciative of that. But it, I appreciate everything else that you do do, including liking, sharing, commenting, etc. But let's get this Pisces uh, energy. Pisces, come on, what is your animal total? talking away and nothing's coming out here. Come on now, show me. 
the pig. Pig is not a bad card. People say, oh, pig, what, what? You know? <laughs> but pig is awesome, man. Pig is abundance, fertility. Okay, tenacious, steadfast, bold, independent, bringer of luck, prosperity, and wealth. Prolific creation, a time of great fertility. Yeah, just like the emperor, uh, fertility is the top word on the card. And so it's with the pig, you know. This is going to be a real time of prosperity. It just feels like they, I keep being, I'm really drawn to this stream that's between the two cups there. It's almost like the energy of the two fish, you know, for you. And the two cups here, and the two cups here. You know, and then these cups. There's this definite, and this is, he's by water. There's this definite, um, you know, water flow vibration surrounding this month for you. And I think that things may have been a little bit disjointed with all these squares to your sign. And now there's just an adjustment. Like, it's like you're trying to go here, and, you, and it's like, uh, 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 and now all of a sudden it's just like, oh, flow right down the stream there. I'm just going to flow, take my boat right down the stream. <laughs> Okay, Pisces. Well, I want to thank you again just for everything that you've done so for me for this year. Uh, also, it's a great time to start thinking about ordering. If you don't want the year ahead personal reading, I do the astrology reading. I have books, decks, and all sorts of stuff that make great gifts for the holidays. I know it can be tough getting through the holidays for a lot of people, so I want to spend a special light out for those of you who maybe going through some tough holiday times you know i know i can relate to that or if you're missing loved ones that aren't there um i'm, I'm thinking of you and sending some light your way thank you for everything you do throughout the year liking sharing commenting etc if you are patreon level two i'm shuffling up now we're going to do another one more card from the earth magic you can check that out if you're interested all that information is above or below don't forget to hit subscribe have a great month of December, a great eclipse, a great solstice, a great Jupiter and Capricorn. There's just so much going on this month and then with the hustle and bustle of the holiday. So find your center, find your peace, get in your flow, go where the universe calls you and takes you down that magical stream. Okay, Pisces, remember your love and beauty incarnate. Have a great one. Bye.